Mark Ray Mundy for MMAfighting.com at Liddell versus Ortiz 3 Open Workouts with Chuck Liddell who fights Tito Ortiz on November 24th at the Forum, live on pay-per-view. Chuck, million dollar question everyone wants to know. Now that you're in this training camp, the, the fight's only about a week and a half out, how do you feel? How has training been? I feel amazing. Actually, I, I, I'm, I, you know, the whole thing before when I first started getting ready for the fights was, can I make it through a camp, fully trained, hard, working hard? And I'm about three hard workouts away from making it through this camp unscathed. So I'm feeling great. Now I'm, I'm excited. I'm in great shape. I'm ready to go. Were there moments early in camp where you had some, I mean, hesitancy that maybe I can't do this whole, this whole camp? No, I, no, I never had that during the camp. I mean, I, the, the thing is, I, this started about a year ago, and, and I, I really started working slowly, getting better, get, get, and waited until I actually made the decision that I thought I could make it through a camp before I even started looking for a fight. How did you end up uh, at Team Body Shop with Antonio McKee? Um, you know, uh, I had a couple people trying out a few different places, and uh, you know, it, I needed some good wrestlers, and uh, you know, um, you know, it, just different different things. Came. Wound up trying it out, going down and trying to, trying them out, and really liked what he was doing, and uh, thought it would be a great place to get in shape and get my timing down for wrestling and striking, and uh, and I really I really love working with him. So. Yeah, well, what, what has that experience been like? We were talking to Antonio, and he said that when, when he first got the, the call saying, oh, can you come and you know, help train Chuck, and he was a little bit unsure. He didn't know for sure. And then now that you've been there at the gym for, for you know, a, few, a couple months now, he's like, you guys are going to be excited to see where Chuck Liddell is at right now. So what has that whole process been like with him? You know, it was just, it was just working. You know, he's, he's the same age as me. He kind of knows, kind of, kind of, and still, still right. training, still maybe fighting again. So... You know, we're, we're on the same page as far as I, you know, I, I need recovery. I need di doing training smarter, not harder. You know, uh, so we're training really hard, but we're training smart. So uh, you know, it's it's all about it's all about being uh, being educated on how to train. We know what is motivating Tito for this fight. He has he hasn't beaten you. You've beaten him twice. You've knocked him out two times. What is motivating you for this fight? You know. I wanted to get back in, in, in the fight, and I decided when this got me started, I, I started trying. And I, I really wanted. I started making make me feel like I wanted to get back into it, and then and then I had fans saying, "Stay retired. You can't. You can't do this." And I don't like being told I can't do anything. So I, I like to prove people wrong. And then fighting Tito, I mean, it, it just came up, and I, I needed a. If I was gonna think about coming back, I needed a warm up fight. So you know, you need a tune up fight. Let's go go to the old, old faithful and uh, go knock out Meathead. Is, is that is that what you, you foresee happening uh, on November 24th? Yeah, I mean, and if he actually is going to try to go out and knock me out like he says, which I think is just him trying to get me not ready for it, but if he actually tries to come out and knock me out, it's going to be over in the first. So it's going it's, he's going to get hurt. There are, there are fans, uh, because you haven't fought in so long, and, and of course you're in your late 40s now, who are concerned, who, you know, I'm sure you've seen this stuff online, do we, do we really want Chuck to fight again? Even Dana White has said it. What do you say to those people? What is your response to them? Well, I mean, I've been through about the most extensive medicals they I've ever heard of. I've been through, I think they gave me three different neuro tests. I mean, I think the, last, the first time they did a pop uh, drug test on me, they showed up with a neuro test. I'm like, what? Yeah, I already gave you two of these. You're like, what, do you need another one? But I passed it with flying colors too, so I'm fine. I'll be just fine. And you know he can't break an egg anyway, so don't worry about about Tito. Oscar De La Hoya said on the MMA Hour on Monday that you and you and Tito will probably make the most you've ever made for for one fight on November 24th. Is that true? It depends on how the fight does. Right? You know, we'll see when 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 the, when the numbers come in from the fight. But get out there and buy the pay per view, and 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 it could be. Tito said he's done after this, but you want to fight more, correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if my body tells me I get out there and I fight the way I want to fight and, and respond, my body responds the way I expect it to, um, so yes, I want to fight again. But uh, we'll see. We'll make the decision. Uh, we'll get together with my family afterwards. We'll make a decision then. Do you have a multi-fight deal with Golden Boy or is this just one fight? We have a one-fight deal, but, uh, you know, uh, we, I'm not against uh, anything going forward. Were you ever close with, uh, I know that you met with uh, Scott Coker with Bellator uh, a couple of times. Was that ever close to, to, signing, to signing with them? Oh, well, we're talking about it. I mean, it, it's, I'm interested. They have a lot of the guys, if I want to fight again, if I fight again after this, he has, they have a lot of guys signed I want to fight. You know, it would be interested in fighting. So uh, a lot of people, the fans would like to see me fight are over there anyway. So that it makes a lot of sense. But if we can come to the deal.
this uh, this week was the uh, 25th anniversary of, of the UFC. I'm, I'm sure you're, you saw the stuff on social media. Is it weird not be, being with a different promoter right now? Because you were you were Mr. UFC. You have been for many years. Is it weird being somewhere else now? It's different, but it's not it's not weird. I mean, I I have I have no hard feelings either one way or another. Um, I'm actually happy to be out here doing doing another first. You know, you know trying the boxing model with with MMA. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. How often do you speak with Dana nowadays? Uh, I've, I've spoken with him a couple times since since this has happened and everything's been good. He's been he's wishes me well. He wants me to win the fight. So we'll, we'll see what happens. He wants you to beat his old buddy Tito. Uh, yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure he does. Could you ever foresee yourself maybe changing his mind about your comeback and maybe you fighting in the UFC again one day? Is that a possibility? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know that I'd even try. I mean, I don't know that that's where he, I don't think he wants to go there. And, 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 but, you know, never know. I, hey, I never say never. Their, uh, their team was saying earlier workouts that they felt like some of the workout videos that your team posted was a hoax, that maybe you're not showing your full hand, that you have more than what has been seen on workouts. I, I think they, they, I think they, they posted one video. <laughs> that I don't know how, out of everything they shot, they showed me warming up with, with some kicks uh, on, a, on a 50 second video. Right. That they were, it's been released at a few different places. I'm like, I don't get it. I mean, if you want to think that's what I, I do, I'm, fine I, I don't care i mean but it, it's it's you know it is what it is i mean but i mean i'm, I'm warming up with kicks i i, I like it's, it's lazy it's warm up it's it's, a, it's to get my my muscles going and i, I like doing I, I like actually it's easiest for me to warm up actually hitting something kicking something so you know whatever i, I don't care like if you think if you think that's that's what it is and, and i actually i challenge anyone talking shit to actually hold hold the pad for me and let, let me kick them well, if he does here, maybe he can hold the pad for you during the open workout. Oh, well, maybe he will. You, sh you should challenge him to hold the pad for you. He's over there. Yeah, I'm going to slap him in the head. Anyway. Last thing, uh, Chuck. Uh, very, very quickly, there was a trade in, in the UFC where they traded Demetrius Johnson, one of the best of all time, to one championship for Ben Askren. What is your take on this, and were you surprised that there could even be trades in MMA? That was interesting, and I, I get it. Uh, I mean, it, I guess if there could be trades, there could be trades. I, I mean, I guess if you have a contract with someone, you, if, if everyone's okay with it, you know, I mean, I, I guess it would be have to, you have to agree, everyone have to agree, but if everyone agrees, it's probably better for everybody. Thanks so much, Chuck. Good luck. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it.